Hello, my name is Andrew Campbell and today I'm going to be doing a quick video on modifying snort rules and specifically we're on, I want to use a regular expressions in a snort rule so that we can monitor and be alerted when users on our network are searching for things that we don't want them to do. So we're not, we're not blocking them, we're just going to be alerted for it. And so uh, if we, we head on over to our solution, we're going to be actually using the snort in our PFSense machine. And the snort interface in PFSense is, is really fairly intuitive. Um, and so let's go, let's head on over to that machine. So we're able to connect in here. This video is assuming that you have snort uh, already installed. If you are wanting to install snort, there's uh, previous videos that I've done that where we actually go ahead and install Snort on PFSense. So uh, over here we've got our I've got a pretty simple network setup. I've got a LAN and I've got a WAN, and on this LAN I'm going to be alerting for traffic that's happening on this this network here. So let's go ahead and we're going to look at the rule that we've made. Go over to our LAN rules. Go to our custom rules that we've made. And down here we can see the rule that I made that's going to be alerting for um, users looking up uh, guns, for example. So we got our, our, our basic snort structure. We're going to alert on TCP traffic. The, the source is any, any source IP, any port, and we're going to any location. So this would be useful for going out to the internet. And over here, this is where we're going to be building a regular expression to, to watch for. So we've got PCRE colon, and then in quotation marks, we've got our regular expression. So we're looking for any instance where these, these uh, three letters, G-U-N, gun, show up. And we've got a, a da, an I here, which means case insensitive. Okay, it's really quite simple. You could do you could do anything in here. Casino, uh, hockey. Uh, but for us, we want to do for this example. We're going to be doing gun, and you can have a, you can have a whole bunch of rules that look for various various things. And then we obviously we want to know what was triggered, so we're going to give ourselves a message: user searching for gun, and all your don't forget that your custom rules also need to have a uh, a custom SID. So there we go. That's our rule there. Let's go ahead and save. It's saved. And we're going to go to alerts. Just going to clear that out. And we're going to generate some traffic. How about that? Affordable Guns Calgary. Search. Google brings up all kinds of uh, legitimate places that are sh that are offering uh, guns in our area. Um, we're just a regular user. We're going to refresh. You may need to double check that your your snort is actually turned on, because if it's not turned on, it's not gonna it's not gonna look for anything or catch anything rather. Go to alerts, and there you go. With the with the interface actually turned on, we're we're seeing all kinds of traffic. Right here, we got our our internal machine 10.13 is actually looking for, and we got the message: user searching for gun. And there you go. If you found this video informative and helpful, please go ahead and subscribe. There's going to be a lot more videos coming. All right. Thanks. Bye.